we are descendants of survivors. Our ancestor, ancestors had to live through wars, through battles, through hunting, uh, and if they wouldn't survive, we wouldn't have pleasure being here. Right? So somehow they made it through so we can exist. And if you go far enough, nobody actually was teaching martial arts. Even a couple of hundred years ago, it was no such thing as a martial arts school and somehow people were fighting war. So it's not just about teaching, it's about being, uh, I don't know. Well, the best word come to mind is natural. And which means finally getting the fear out of the body and being relaxed enough. Well, the getting fear to be natural. The f fear is not always negative because fear, like we always say, tension is bad. Uh, if I wouldn't have tension, I wouldn't be standing now. I'd be laid down flat on the ground, unconscious, mm -hmm. without tension. So, like a fear itself, and fear also not bad because if there wouldn't be fear, uh, you'd be dead in the five minutes you walk out of here. You will cross the road uh, without being fearful. Uh, of being afraid of being hit by the car, right? So fear is positive because fear that what keeps you alive. I remember the old drill in the system when we do pushing. Come on, I know. Uh, when the pushing yield, when something is pushing you, you yield. So the push comes, you allow your body to yield, and you go back and forth. When you yield, you make sure none of those points of moving with the push, you allow your partner to move you. You try to be as little tense as possible, so none of that part will give you any more tension that you start from. Like you're standing now, trying to have minimum tension, especially after lunch, because all the blood is there. Same thing, every time you move, try to minimize any part of tension, and doesn't matter what he's pushing, front, the back, yield, okay? So those who have a knife, walk around and poke those who don't have knives, and yield, and everybody walks. <laughs> now, allow your partner to stab you, but this time don't move your feet, okay? Relax your body and watch yourself die. The blade comes, no, no, if I didn't move, you keep pushing, keep pushing, and imagine you are broken. You messed up everything else. You screwed up everything before you are dying from the blade. There's nothing else you can do, at least observe now. Okay? See how blade goes into your body and what your body is doing, doing, going through. At some point you will have to move, right? Especially when he is serious. He can practice his own work. He can change the grip, he can change position, he can change the angle, but he's still the same thing. He's putting his blade into your body. And I'm not pretending, actually pushing in and you allow him and see what's happening. You observe your body, how it's moving when it's really, that's the end of the road, okay? Doing that, realize you're doing that anyway, okay? Go through this couple of minutes and take a note what is happening with your movement. The more honest you are about it, the more outcome you will have the previous observation, Excuse me. right? So once you had the observation, you start adding just one more thing. You're going slower. Just before the blade goes in, you go not from the push, first you go from the push, from the force, from the hole. You move by the force. Next step, go by the touch. Do the same thing, but with the touch, okay? But remember, if you screw it up with everything else and the blade is on your body, the least you can do to make a whole couple inches less, right? And I like the same, with the knife fight, a loser dies. Winners dies later. <laughs> so really, if you're not used to the blade, the blade will show, will show up. No, no matter what you do, we want to survive. Your body wants to stay alive. Your ass will move. Just notice how it's moving, and the consciously reducing your tension, because you can get moving by locking yourself in tension. It doesn't do any good. When your muscles are tense, it high, higher blood supply. It will bleed harder. It will penetrate easier by the blade. Okay? So realize how your body is moving. Okay? Minimize any damage. <laughs> he's stabbing you, he tried to go before he touches you. Okay? Same movement, same 
you already know how your body will be moving from the touch. You, you, okay? Second step of the drill, you insert hand between you and the blade. But don't touch the blade, touch your partner arm, okay? If you want to think about when the his come, uh, arms come, you don't want to focus on the blade because it's usually the fastest moving part. It's hard to keep a track of it. You should know exactly where it is at all times to control the blade. But if you just visualize, focus on the blade, he'll beat you because it's too fast. It's easier to focus on the shoulder and arm. And that's pretty much what you touch. Move, touch. Build up on that touch. Yeah, instead of just lifting your arm. So touch. Uh, it give you an idea on the distance. Tell me how, how it feels for you. Is it threatening? Thank you, Sergey.